Hello everybody, my name is Samson and today we are going to build a renaissance city in Minecraft. And everybody is allowed, except for those filthy pillagers over there. Without further ado, let's get right into it. This map is the inspiration for this video. It was created by the YouTube channel Sand Roman History. His link is below this video. The layout of the city that we are going to build is quite difficult to understand. That's why we are going to use different colors of concrete to map out the city. The yellow concrete is used to lay out the walls. The blue concrete is used to lay out the different residential houses. The light blue concrete is used to map out specific and more important buildings while the orange concrete is more of a measurement tool for myself. And last but not least, the light green concrete is used for main roads, while the dark green concrete is used for side roads. Oh, and I almost forgot. I used the red color to map out where the gates are going. As you can see, I'm already starting the build. I usually start by placing the walls and then fit in the rest of the buildings. I do this to get a better understanding of the scale of the build. But I have talked for quite some time now, so let's sit back and relax, and I will put on some music and start the building. Now, with the outer wall complete, it was time to start constructing the inner walls of this city. I wanted to create two similar kinds of walls to surround the city and two thick layers of defense. That, combined with the water, would make the city impenetrable. It took about 4 hours to create these walls with some time beforehand to think of what I was actually going to build. Now, with the outer layer of the inner wall, that's a mouthful, almost complete, you can really start to see the shape of the city. Of course, we still need to add some thickness to this wall, because a wall that is only one block thick 
doesn't offer much protection. Let's put on some music and let's get to it. And that's it, the walls are complete, the city is fully surrounded and encased. To make it more obvious where we are going to put land or water in the city, I'm going to fill the places with land with some sandstone. Okay guys, I made a huge mistake while building this land because I forgot there was a useful tool for this job in Minecraft. It's the fill tool and you can fill in two different kinds of coordinates and Minecraft will fill in the area between those coordinates with a stone of your choosing. I remembered the simple command only as I was about to fill in the last quarter of the area very embarrassing <laughs> but still i can remember this for the next time i'm going to build a huge project but come on guys don't you love how this is looking at the moment i sure as hell do but we're not finished yet now that we have some walls we can plan out some of the gates of the city and even some roadways between them with a small square I am currently planning out the roads with some dark concrete blocks that I place loosely where I want the road to go. This is easier for later when we need to build the actual roads and it helps a lot with building diagonally. As you can see I also added a new wall. This is to separate the poor district from the richer districts. Now it's time to fill in some of the main roads. You can see I marked these out with some light green concrete. As for the material used for the road, I'm using the path block because I really like how it looks. Of course we are going to detail the roads in a later stage, but now we are just laying out the thickness to get a better understanding of where we can place houses. And it's already time to build the last road. This is the road that's in between the poor district and the rich district. Now, with all the main roads complete, we can start to add in some houses. I really like houses that have odd shapes and are placed at odd angles. Not just the blocky regular square houses, no. I want a something different for every house to make it more special and feel unique. 
If you made it this far into the video, I would really like to thank you. It means a lot to me and I put a lot of effort in these videos. With that said, let us sit back and relax once again and put on some music as I map out the rest of the city's houses. Oh my god guys, that was quite the time lapse. It took about 10 hours to build this whole city. Or, well, it's not even finished yet, we only did the planning out phase. But I want to try to finish the city in the next episode, or at least a great portion of it. I hope the video gave you some insight in how I plan out a big build. And maybe even some inspiration to use in your own Minecraft creative worlds. I can't wait for the next episode where I can build the city from the ground up. I hope to see you there again. I am really thankful if you made it this far into the video. I love you guys, you're amazing and keep safe in these hard times. This is Samson and I'm signing off.